you know, in the international community, uh, most of the countries are developing countries. But if we look at the, the, the voices, the volume of voice in international security, few of their voices can be heard. So developing countries can be called silent countries, silent majority in the international community. Beijing Xiangshan Forum, I think it is a gathering of all the countries, particularly developing countries. So we provide a platform for them to express their security concerns, security aspirations, and we try to you know, highlight the voices in the international community in terms of security. So the U.S. delegation is also attending the Beijing Xiangshan Forum. Uh, what's your message to the U.S. delegation? What's your expectations on them? I think it is very important for the United States to hear the voices of developing countries because, you know, in a developed countries circle, they often you know, have the similar views. So here in the Beijing Center Forum, they, they can meet people from different countries. They can hear, you know, security concerns or security, you know, expressions from other countries. I think that is very important for the United States for it to have a balanced idea of, about what's happening, what's going on in the international community. If you look at the agenda of this year's forum, a lot of the uh, items targeting the current uh, issues um, that are covering the world security concerns, what's the consideration behind the agenda setting? Is that a promotion of the Global Security Initiative? Uh, definitely. You know, the, the theme of the 10th Beijing Xiangshan Forum is common security and the lasting peace. You know, lasting peace, that is the goal. That is, the international community is trying to, you know, achieve. And the common security, I think that is important. Only through common security, we can have lasting peace. Common security means you have security, I have security, every, everybody has security. That is very important. So this is a great opportunity for China to conduct home diplomacy. A lot of the foreign leaders are coming to Beijing. Uh, do you think that uh, this is another message that China has been sending out, playing a proactive role in promoting world peace? Yeah, I think uh, over the past years, China has played a very positive role in, in peaceful settlement of various, China, uh, various uh, disputes or various problems. And uh, this time, the, the, the same. You know, we have invited, uh, uh, you know, representatives from conflicting, you know, parties. For example, from Russia and from Ukraine. And also, you know, from Israel and from Arab countries. And we, we try to mitigate all the disputes and uh, try to have them sit together and uh, have dialogues, have discussions, communicate with each other, and try to reach consensus. But, you know, w one thing I'd like to highlight is that, you know, it is very difficult to, you know, resolve sophisticated security challenges over one platform or, or one time. But I think that is a big step for common security and lasting peace.